Hello and welcome back again to our channel, Tutoring Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to learn how to solve the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 5x minus 12 equal to 0. The first thing we got to do is to test which method, which of the three methods we're going to use, whether it's the factorization method or the quadratic formula or the completion of squares formula. So what we do is that we take this number here and multiply by the negative 12 and we, we get negative 48. Now we're going to ask ourselves a question. What are the two numbers when we multiply, we're going to get a negative 48. And when we add those same two numbers, when we add those same two numbers, we're going to get negative 5. Be careful of the sign next to the 5. It's negative 5. In this case, it's not going to be possible. And if it's not possible, then we go ahead straight to do the completion of squares method. But if it is possible, you can decide to use the, um, the factorization method or the quadratic formula method. So to do the completion of squares method, we'll always divide this number by everything. So 4x squared will divide by 4 minus 5 over 4x minus 12 over 4 is equal to 0 over 4. When we do that, we're going to get, we, have, we end up getting x squared minus 5 over 4x uh, minus 3 is equal to 0. x squared minus 5 over 4x is equal to 0 plus 3, which is actually 0. So what we're going to do is that we take half of negative 5 over 4, don't forget that. And when we do that, we're going to have negative 5 over 8. Then we square it. When we square, we get negative 5 over 8 squared, and we're going to add it to both, side, both sides. So we're going to have x squared minus 5 over 4x uh, plus negative 5 over 8 all squared is equal, to, is equal to 3. This is supposed to be 3. It's going to be 3 plus negative 5 over 8 all squared. When we do that, we always have x, always. And the number inside here is negative 5 over 8, and then you square that. And then we simplify here. When we simplify here, we're getting 3 plus 25 over 64. Negative 5 squared, 8 squared. And then we go, when we simplify that, um, we're going to have um, pretty much, we're going to have 217. When you do it, you get 217 over 64. When you do it, this is the LCM with 64. Now, we're going, to, we're going to take a square root of x minus 5 over a, and we also square root the 217 over 64. When we do that, we're going to have x minus 5 over 8 is equal to uh, plus or minus uh, square root of 217 over, six, over square root of 64. And then we're going to have x being equal to square root of 217 over 8 plus 5 over 8 or, or, or negative square root, of, square root of 217 over 8 minus uh, plus 5 over 8. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And please subscribe.